Bamidbar Numbers Chapter 9 And Yahweh spoke to Moshe in the wilderness of Sinai, in the first month of the second year, after they were come out of the land of Mithraim, saying, Moreover, let the children of Yisrael effectuate the Passover in its appointment. In the fourteenth day of this month, within even, ye shall effectuate it in its appointment, according to all the statutes of it, and according to all the ordinances thereof, shall ye effectuate it. And Moshe spoke to the children of Yisrael to effectuate the Passover. And they effectuated the Passover in the first month, in the fourteenth day of the month, within even, in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all that Yahweh commanded Moshe, so did the children of Yisrael. And there were certain men who were unclean for a soul of man, so that they were not able to effectuate the Passover on that day. And they came before Moshe and before Ahron in that day. And those men said to him, We are unclean for a soul of man. For what reason are we kept back, that we may not offer the oblation of Yahweh in its appointment among the children of Yisrael? And Moshe said to them, Stay ye, that I may hear what Yahweh will command concerning you. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Yisrael, saying, If any man of you or of your generations shall be unclean for a soul, or be on a journey afar off, yet he shall effectuate the Passover to Yahweh. In the second month, in the fourteenth day within even, they shall effectuate it, they shall eat it with unleavened breads and bitter vegetables. They shall leave none of it to the morning, nor break a bone thereof. According to all the statute of the Passover, they shall effectuate it. But the man that is clean, and is not on a journey, and forbeareth to effectuate the Passover, that soul shall be cut off from his people, because he offered not the oblation of Yahweh in its appointment. That man shall bear his sin. And if a stranger shall sojourn among you, and would effectuate the Passover to Yahweh, according to the statute of the Passover, and according to the ordinance thereof, so shall he effectuate. Ye shall have one statute, both for the sojourner, and for him that is born in the land." And on the day that the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, even the tent of the testimony. And at even it was upon the tabernacle as it were the appearance of fire, until morning. So it was always, the cloud covered it, and the appearance of fire by night. And whenever the cloud was taken up from over the tent, then after that the children of Yisrael journeyed, and in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Yisrael encamped. At the command of Yahweh the children of Yisrael journeyed, and at the command of Yahweh they encamped. As long as the cloud abode upon the tabernacle, they remained encamped. And when the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle many days, then the children of Yisrael kept the charge of Yahweh, and journeyed not. And sometimes the cloud was a few days upon the tabernacle. Then according to the command of Yahweh, they remained encamped, and according to the command of Yahweh they journeyed. And sometimes the cloud was from evening until morning, 
and when the cloud was taken up in the morning, they journeyed, or if it continued by day and by night, when the cloud was taken up, they journeyed. Whether it were two days or a month or a year that the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle abiding thereon, the children of Israel remained encamped and journeyed not, but when it was taken up, they journeyed. At the command of Yahweh they encamped, and at the command of Yahweh they journeyed. They kept the charge of Yahweh at the command of Yahweh by Moshe. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Make thee two straight horns of silver, of beaten work shalt thou make them, and they shall be for thee for the cold gathering of the congregation, and for the pulling up of the camps.